All right, so as I've said before, the only time you really have to do anything, any work with a limit, is when you get zero over zero, at least for the problems we're looking at. Later on in calculus, you'll see that it's not that easy, but the ones we're looking at right now, it is. So here's an example right here of a function. The limit as x goes to do 2 of a polynomial over a polynomial. So it is a rational function. Uh, if you plug in 2 to the top, you get 3 times 4, 12, minus 20, negative 8, plus 8 is 0. 5 times 2 on the bottom is 10 minus 10, which is 0. So here we go. That's a zero over zero. And that tells you you have to do something. That tells you, as a matter of fact, that this limit is going to exist. Now, that doesn't mean that through calculus. For the problems you get, that's what it's going to mean. The limit will exist. For any problem you get in this chapter so just keep that in mind but don't follow that out through your whole cal calculus career we'll we'll come back to that later anyhow um since it's a rational function since it's a polynomial over a polynomial and you get zero over zero i guarantee you this factors without a doubt so and this is a problem i just made up i didn't Think this ahead. All I know is it was going to be zero over zero. When that happens, it's a guarantee that both of these factor, or one of them factors, and you get a cancellation. So the bottom is easy. The bottom factor is like this. 5 times x minus 2. The top factors like a quadratic. So you figure out how that factors. The way I do is I go 3 times 8 is 24. Factors of 24 that add up to the middle number negative 10 are negative 6 and negative 4. So here we do know what factors because we found them. Um, so x minus 6, x minus 4, but this number is not a 1, it's a 3. So over 3 over 3. That would mean x minus 2 times, bring this 3 up here in front of the x, 3x minus 4. Double check, foil this out, make sure you get 3x squared minus 10x plus 8. And I bet you will. I don't need to check, though, because... Notice this x minus 2 and this x minus 2. Those are going to cancel. That has to happen. You can go back and look at this limit. x goes to 2. If you get 0 over 0, an x minus 2 will have to cancel. So you get rid of the problem of 0 on the bottom. So that's exactly what happened. So no, right at this point right here, after I got 0 over 0, since I got this situation where the x minus 2s are going to cancel, and that would take care of this positive 2, I know I did it right. So this equals the limit as x goes to 2 of 3x minus 4 over 5. Now you go back to your direct substitution, which is 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4, which is 2 over 5. Now you can easily check that because you know how to do this numerically and you know how to do it graphically. So if you go back to your graph and calculator and plug in 2.0001 into the original function, you should get 0.4. So I may have told you this in class. I don't know. This is kind of doing this in the past but this is an important point for those of you taking the ap exam be very very careful of notation and equal signs so for example 
if you didn't have this limit and you said this equals this equals this, you're wrong. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the only way that this equals this is if it's in context of a limit. We know these limits are the same. The limit of this would be the same thing as the limit as this, which is actually equal to two fifths. So be careful with that. Be careful with your notation. Another thing that you have to be very careful of is when you start out with this limit, and I've seen this because I grade these exams, and I've seen this happen two years in a row with the calculus exams. If you have this limit, a lot of people will tend to say, all right, I'm doing direct substitution. I'm going to say zero over zero and then finish my work. This is an automatic deduction of a point because the limit does not equal zero over zero. That would mean that this limit is undefined. The limit equals two fifths. So I did write zero over zero up here. That's just a notation to myself. Do not put equals zero over zero. Um, it's a dumb way to lose a point. I actually disagree with how they grade these. I don't think that's a big problem, but that's they make a point of it. So I'm letting you know that. So that's it. Uh, there's two more problems that I want to go through, and they're going to come up in separate videos. So I'll see you then.